hey guys, I need you to do me a favor. Um, help me fight the algorithm. Uh, go ahead and hit like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell icon for new notifications. Thank you. So Wonder Woman number five, Under the Sovereign's Eye, I will say, um, real quick, this was the cover that got me into reading this series. Um, God, there's lots of glare. Um, God, I'm getting lots of glare off this light, no matter where I point it. Anyways, I love this cover. This is what got me into reading this series. Um, this cover would not get me reading this series. But fortunately, the contents behind this cover were good enough to get me to pick up this one. Because, uh, yeah, that, it, like, under the Sovereign's Eye, it doesn't really tell you much. But, you know, I, I did check it out, so, so you know, here we are. Um, uh, so this will be the follow-up of issue four, when one woman essentially was helping a kid, uh, the kid uh, who, was, uh, who was dying, whose favorite uh, superhero was Wonder Woman, and she was off giving him the time of his life, while, uh, you know, the government decided, hey, we're going to wage war against Wonder Woman because uh, assholes. But, uh, okay, this is the follow-up to that. So first, and real quick, I want Chad to help me out here because I don't know the name of all four of these women who are four. Well, this is Diana. But there's three other women who are uh, helping her. Actually, this isn't Diana. This is Diana. But there's three other women who, who she's talking to. Um, and she's like, okay, we have to choose a challenge. Uh, where they, you guys choose your contest, and this one chooses arrows, this one chooses arms, and this one is something different. The blonde is Cassie. That sounds familiar. I think, I want to say one is like Donna Troy. Cassie sounds familiar. I don't know. I uh, There's lots of Wonder Woman characters, and I wish I was more familiar with them. And uh, this book... A slight against this book is that it kind of introduces them. Like, you kind of get a feel for the characters, but I don't know their names. So, it's, it's a slight, slight against this book. But I did see lots of people on Twitter were talking about, and they were sharing this image. I didn't recognize it until I opened up the book. They were talking about, oh, Diana has a new super team. She doesn't need the Justice League. She's got so this super team. And, yeah, we, we, we will get to that. Because, essentially, they're all choosing their contest. We know uh, Wonder Woman's a fugitive. And when I first read this, the implication was that these people, like, Wonder Woman needs their help, and she has to beat them at these contests to to uh, get their help. So, and then we go to the next page, and we have uh, uh, Sergeant, Sergeant, crap, uh, Sergeant Dickhead. I'm sure they'll say it, but anyways, we have, uh, essentially, we have a... Uh, the, 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 yes, yeah, I'm pretty sure the last panel is Donna. I'm pretty sure this is Donna Troy, although it might be wrong. I'm pretty sure that is it. I know, I remember Donna Troy reminds me a lot of Wonder Woman in Look. Uh, but anyways, uh, so we are, we see this, this woman in a cell, and she's being let out by this guy, Sergeant something, Sergeant Steele, Sergeant Steele. Actually, I need to walk away for a second. Sergeant Steele. Who was essentially just the, the goon for the 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 sovereign, and he is is obviously getting her out of her cell. She's gigantic. Um, I'm sure she has a superhero name too. But uh, anyways, um, and he's like, yeah. Uh, so obviously we we got a set up here where Wonder Woman is going to recruit her team. She has to beat them in contests, get their help, and then they're the the villains are going to recruit their team. So so we got this giant woman getting released from prison. And then there's Cersei. Oh, I remember reading about Cersei from when, uh, Giganta. Yes, yes, I bet you're right. I bet you're right. Um, Cersei, I remember reading about Cersei when I read a lot of the George Perez stuff to my daughter. So, like, she is, she is, she is no good. But we're getting introduced to her. She's, she's actually being a pig. Um, but anyway, so, so now we got the contest of Arrows. But yeah, she's, she's, Wonder Woman's top out. She doesn't need sidekicks. She doesn't need uh, help. So so they're doing the contest of arrows, and they both release the arrow, and they, they hit the arrows in the middle. Boom. And then they do it again two this time, and boom. Uh, they're, they're, they're not getting anywhere at this contest. All right, and then they do three, obviously. Now they're doing four. Uh, four, but there's one that leaks through. 
And then, okay, so this is y Yara. Yara? Okay. Mm. But anyways, one arrow sneaks through. The Yara's one just goes past one woman, and then one woman hits her in the midsection, which is rough. Ow. Um, and she's like, you better not have hit anything important. And uh, one woman's like, nope, you haven't. So essentially, yeah, okay, so this is where it's revealed. Uh, I have aimed true, you will suffer little and soon have ambrosia in your stomach where once was pain, which also means you have been challenged and have lost. Your argument is through. Now swear to it by the gods. And she's like, no, I, you old fool. And she's like, old and victorious fool. Now swear it, you will walk away from my war. Do not make me knock five. So, you know, shoot five. So... What this uh, panel is revealing is that the these women are not uh, competing to help one woman. They are competing. Well, they are competing to help one woman. But the thing is, oh, like these three want to help one woman. And one woman is saying, no, don't help me. And the way one woman is getting them to not help them is to, to beat them in these challenges. So what's literally going on? Well, at first, it seemed like they're doing the same thing. What's happening is different. So like. These guys are recruiting people for their evil super mission um, to, to get one woman. One woman is actually de-recruiting people and telling them not to help her. This is her fight. She doesn't, she can do this alone. She doesn't want them to be in danger. And they are in danger, as uh, we will find out later today, not this issue. Um, but anyways, we got Sergeant Steele. He, he's off visiting an office, and you're like, who, who is he visiting? And then you, we see it's, it's uh, Dr. Psycho? Professor Psycho? Something like that, yeah. Classic Wonder Woman villain again. Um, so, so we're getting quite a, a, a rogues gallery getting collected up here. Yeah, so we, we got some underworld shit going on here. But, oh, this is the Sovereign talking to, to some demonic person. Uh, obviously a good guy here. All good guys. Anyways, um, so I believe this is Cassie then. So... Uh, so Cassie's going to do her challenge. Her challenge was arms, if you remember. So they're going to arm wrestle. And they're, they're, they're having exchanges. And, you know, essentially Cassie's argument is, hey, um, you should let us help you. This is dumb. Why are we doing this? And one woman's like, no, no, you guys are not going to help me. I'm going to do this on my own. And then she's like, well, I'm stronger than you expect. So don't expect to win this. And... You know, they're going back and forth, and there is a bit of a struggle, and Diana, of course, wins. And she's one woman's like, thank you, thank you for, for being willing to help me, but this is my fight. You're, 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 you're free to go. Enjoy your life. And now we, we got Sergeant Steel getting thrown around by this metallic angel woman thing. I do not recognize her whatsoever, but I'm going to, oh, the Silver Swan. That is a familiar name, but I'm not familiar with this look. I'm pretty sure I've I'm pretty sure I'm used to Silver Swan being like mostly white. I guess it's a re remodel, of course. Um, but anyways, uh, it looks like the, you know we're, we're getting more super villains. We're getting more of a rogues gallery going on here. And then we got this guy who's drawing uh, crazy stuff. I wonder if this is supposed to be I don't know. He's just drawing lots of triangles. Kind of reminds me of Doctor Savannah from the from the 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 end of the Shazam movie. I don't think it's him though. But yeah, th this guy's obviously insane. Angle Man. Is that actually his name? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know this guy. <laughs> oh, the Silver Swan is a mantle that's got past old. Okay, okay. I did not know that. Listen, I'm diving back into comic books after years. So anyway, so well, we got the, the third contest with Donna Troy, and the one she chose is uh, they're going to do a Justice League fighting game that I assume is not Injustice, because having that in canon would be weird. But anyways, they're doing a Justice League fighting game. Uh, one Woman's, uh, you know, I, you know, it depends how well One Woman's practiced this. And she's like, Donna's like, we're going to help you. Just stop, stop this silly crap and you know you're not gonna win against me at a video game i do this all the time of course she's got a t titans go t-shirt on so that that that's really making continuity strange i don't know <laughs> but uh 
Uh, yeah, no, so, so they're doing a video game, and, uh, you know, Donna appears to be doing quite well. Batman's being the crap out of Superman. Uh, where are we at? And, uh, the, the, the fight's continuing, they're, they're having their ex exchange, and then suddenly Wonder Woman comes in and beats the crap out of Batman, uh, wins the day, yay, so... Now Donna won't ha be able to help, and now she's pissed, and she's like, what, how? And then one woman's like, yeah, I kind of figured this would be your choice, so I practiced this game a lot, so so I could beat ya. Um, so yeah, so now one woman has officially made sure that no one will help her during this upcoming fight, so... Yay? But anyways, now we got this, this league of villains going on here. We got Silver Swan, we got Cersei, we got Angle Man... We got that that evil demonic one. We got Doctor Psycho and uh, Giganta. So we got this league of villains ready to go after one woman. Then one woman's just coming home, and she comes back, and what? Well, you know, they're all three there, and they're like, "Yeah, fuck that contest. We're still gonna help you. Um, you can't, you can't, you can't stop us. We're gonna help you. We we don't care what penalty there is. Uh, we got your back. Fuck this shit. Um." So that that is the main story there. Excellent, excellent uh, story. Um, I like I didn't like this as much as episode or issues three and four. So I'd probably give this one number four stars. Although I'd probably also give this one the edge over uh, Creepshow. So uh, yeah, so they're both four star books. But yeah, this one I enjoyed a bit more. Uh, of course, we're not even done with this book. I'm jumping ahead, guys, because uh, we got some more Trinity stuff. So Trinity, if you remember, it's essentially uh, uh, Wonder Woman's cousin Lizzie with uh, Batman, or yeah, Batman's son, Damien, as Batman, and then uh, John Kent, uh, Clark Kent's son, and this is in the future where they've all kind of taken on the mantles of their, 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 their previous, so it's Superman, Wonder Woman, and uh, Batman, but they're all younger. But yeah, they're on Themyscira. Um, the, the, looks like they're hopping on these, these kangaroo things. They're gonna do some riding around, and then they're gonna do a race. And then, uh, you know, uh, Damien's warning, you know, Lizzie's gonna cheat. And then John's like, oh, come on, you don't know that. And then she, she just yells one and jumps off. And then, she, and then, you know, Damien's like, yeah, of course she was gonna do that. And John's like, God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, they're racing on these wonky, uh, kangaroo things. Yes, Miles Morales is not Wonder Woman. Miles Morales is Wonder Woman, goddammit. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so they're doing the race, and they're losing, they're losing Lizzie, um, you know, she's doing quite well, and then all of a sudden, uh, John's like, fuck, Lizzie, look out, there's a cliff! And then she's like, cliff, what cliff? And, you know, we, we can handle it, and then she, she handles it, and then... And then, and then, you know, she, she does the jump and, you know, she's like, you know, and they're, they're concerned, but she's like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I win. I got it. And they're like, Jesus, that was reckless. Okay. Um, but you know, it, it all recovers. It's all okay. Um, and yeah, she's going to go get Sam Ambrosia. So it was all worth it for her. So they're all chilling with Ambrosia. So this is just a cute little story. I still think the first Trinity story was better. This one doesn't thrill me. Uh, like I said, I already gave away the rating. This is a four-star comic book. The Trinity storyline is, again, kind of the weak point, but it's fine. It, it, it didn't thrill me. Real quick, uh, so the Trinity was Tom King wrote that. Uh, Belen Ortega uh, was the artist, and Alejandro Sanchez was the colorist. Um, and uh, let's go over the credits for... Uh, One Woman Outlaw Part 5. Tom King wrote that. Daniel Sampier oh, is the artist. And Tomio Mori is the colorist. Dude, like, I really dig Tom King's writing on the Outlaw storyline. And Daniel Sampier's artwork has been fantastic. This has overall been a fantastic book. And yeah, so yeah, this is definitely better than Creepshow. Really, really enjoyed this. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people see if they could become something more see if they could work together when we needed them to
books, records, films, these things matter. Call me shallow. It's the fucking truth.